Hello and welcome to Noratforyou.com. Hello, my name is Amir Bornstein from Noratforyou.com, and today I want to share with you the new version of the Cornet ED ATI T Plus 5G version 2. Uh, this is actually version 2 of the 5G, but it's a fourth version of the 88 Plus, um, and it's my most recommended all in one. Uh, EMF meter for home use for people who are aware of the possible health effect of, EH of EMF and for EHS people. Um, the meter comes with a 9 volt battery and um, looks like this. It's size of a smartphone, a little bit thicker. This is like 2 centimeters. The battery goes at the back. This is the power on button. It's a wheel type of button and there's phone's connection here and a USB micro USB connection to connect this to a external power supply or to the PC. Uh, if connected to the PC you can work with soft special software that was written for it and to get advanced uh, features. Now the meter is a backlight display so it is visible also at night time and the display is a numeric display with numbers lots of info on it uh, you learn the info bit by bit and and eventually the meter allows you to get a very good and wide picture about the uh, radiation um, the meter measures the, the radiation 25,000 25,000 times every seconds and it shows you the uh, outcomes uh, calculated over half of that, twice a second, uh, 12,500 12, 12, samples. This is very fast for an RF meter, and this is the, the basic reason that this meter is good. In order to measure RF in today's world, that everything is digital, all the transmissions are digital and very fast, you need a fast meter. With a slow meter, you're not really measuring all the RF. Uh, it displays every half seconds the maximum level of RF that was uh, sampled over those 12,500. 12, it shows in this display here uh, a time-based timeline of the, of the radiation, uh, the last 15 seconds of the radiation. It has also max and average and duty cycle when duty cycle is the percentage uh, of the time that the radiation was uh, uh, apparent in the last half second and also the frequency here uh, of the radiation if there was uh, a specific frequency. All those together allows you the user to identify uh, the source and the reason for the transmission much easier. Um, in addition, it measures also magnetic field and electric field, uh, so, Q, so uh, it is an all-in-one EMF meter. Uh, other meters are measuring only RF or only low frequency, this measures all of it. It does a very good job in RF and uh, a good enough job in low frequency magnetic and electric. In addition, this version has uh, more advanced features in RF. It has a time-based, uh, in order to show it, I need to show how it radiates, uh, how it pick up radiation. So I'm using a small uh, radio frequency remote control. So when I will push the button, you will see the transmission. This is, this is how it sounds, the, how the RF sounds, the meter, allows you to hear the radiation also. Let's take another transmission, transmitter, and okay. And this is a professional, semi-professional uh, RF transmitter. Let's do it again also. Now every, every source has a unique sound to it. The RF sounds unique and th there's a unique uh, waveform. Um, right now, you see on the histogram that uh, uh, it's keep 
uh, updating all the time. Uh, but there is a way in this meter to see the timeline of the um, uh, transmissions, even if it disappears from the histogram. You need to press hold and then mod, and then you go to a timeline graph that shows you all the transmissions I've made before. And there's a small cursor here, you can use those buttons, the right and left, to move the cursor to the point where the radiation was apparent. You can see the cursor moving in. Takes a while. Okay. And now the cursor is on the time that uh, uh, the radiation was apparent. And you can see the level. The level was 51.5 milliwatt per square meter. And you can see all the data also here below. You can see the average, the maximum, um, the frequency even. Okay. So this allows you to track what happened on in the last few minutes. Uh, this was in zoom mode. So here you can see two minutes. There's, if you push mode again, you will see nine minutes. You can set this screen to show up to 50 hours. If you set it to, to measure, to, to take a sample every three minutes, this uh, view will allow you to see up to nine hours. You can also connect it to a PC and then use the software and then track it for as long as you want. In addition to that, you can set in this new model, you can set this view, the log view, logger view, to have every pixel show you the level of one millisecond. This allows you to show the exact waveform of the radiation. There's another way to see the waveform or part of it is by looking at a historical, a his, um, statistical view. Okay. Um, I will transmit, push the button, and then push the hold. Once the transmission is done, I've pushed the hold button. Once the meter has stopped, I see all the data here. I can push unit, and then I move into statistical view. In this statistical view, I can see uh, the wave, part of the waveform of the RF radiation and also another other statistical data that, uh, that uh, relevant to the time that the meter was stopped. With the statistical data and with this waveform, I can better identify the source. For example, this small source radiates mostly most of the time, so the waveform is pretty much full. Uh, let's see another source that has another different uh, waveform. So I'm taking the transmitter again and I'm making a transmission. And now I'm pressing hold, got it. Now I'm pressing unit. And this is the waveform of this source and the statistical data. So this meter is my most recommended meter for home use. Uh, for 2023, it can it is very good at measuring RF radiation, radio frequency, cell towers, cell phones, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, those things. Uh, it can measure also uh, low frequency magnetic and electric field. It can be used in the house, in in the workplace, in, in your car, in the yard, whenever you want, and wherever you want. And small nine volt battery. Uh, very good for RF, advanced features. You can find it uh, on my site, uh, on my store site, and order it for me. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Minimize the use of smartphones and wireless devices before the use will minimize you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.